My last video was of the largest Xbox laptop that I've ever done. This video is going to be of the smallest Xbox laptop that I've ever done. This unit has a 15 inch screen on it. Now this is exactly the same screen that I used on the first Xbox laptop that I built. This one is a half an inch thinner than that unit was. Uh, this incorporates the, the um, negative air pressure cooling system that I came up with about a year ago. So that gives it a really clean look without a whole bunch of vents on top. All your air moves through the heat sink and is forced out through vents here and over here. So that gives it a nice clean look. Now you can see I went with a, a blacked out look on this thing. Everything on it is black, including the ring of light. I blacked it out. So uh, I want to show you the lid of this one. Now this lid has a, has a little graphic on it that... Uh, uh, is temporary unless you like that graphic but um, I went with a, a matte finish on that but that is also temporary unless you like it this thing's going to be going up for sale on eBay and the winning bidder will get to select any graphic they would like to the, for the top of this uh, and I'll have it printed and apply it so any picture you want send it to me I will put it on the top of this it's, it's customizable in that regard you know anything you want all right, let's have a look at the front of this one. Okay, on the front here, you don't see the front-facing USB or the infrared remote uh, port. I didn't, I didn't really feel it was necessary. Plus, in a unit this small, uh, there are components sitting in front of the USB ports that are over here on the inside on the motherboard, and they're hard to get to. And I had to use one of them to power some components on the inside, so I didn't include those in the front. But you have the three in the back. You see the standard keypad that I normally use, uh, power, eject, sync, volume up, volume down, and this is a button that will allow you to turn the internal monitor off, even though the Xbox does take care of that. If you plug this, if you want to play this on your big screen TV, you can plug an HDMI cord into it, and it will turn the monitor off automatically, turn the internal monitor off. It also will do dual monitors if you're using VGA. If you do plug it into plug a VGA cord into the back of this, it will show up on this screen and whatever screen you've got it plugged into. It has a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, it's you uh, the USB works perfectly fine and it works perfectly fine with Xbox Live. All the Xbox hardware in this machine is 100% stock. I didn't change anything, so there's nothing to make Microsoft angry. This works nothing. Or this does nothing that a stock Xbox Slim out of the box won't do. Uh, to give you a little bit of an idea of the size of this thing, let me slide my laptop over here. This is my trusty HP DV7 laptop I've used in a couple of videos. But there you go. That gives you an idea of just how small this unit actually is. You can put this in a laptop bag, no problem. Take it with you. Uh, have a look. You can see how thick it is too. It's not much thicker than a regular laptop. There you go. But yeah, there you go. That's the, the new 15 inch Xbox Slim laptop that I built. Like I said, is this is going to be going for, up for sale on eBay. You look for a link in the description and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to send them to me. I try to answer every question that I get it's hard to do because I get a lot of email, a lot of questions, a lot of comments. It's hard to answer them all. If I don't get to you, please just ask the question again, and I'll try to get to you. It's just hard to answer every, everybody's questions. So if I missed you, I'm not sliding you on purpose. I just, it's, just give me a chance to get to it. But, yeah, there you go. If, uh, uh, if you're interested in, in purchasing this one before it goes on eBay, send me a, a message. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.